Alrighty, hopefully this one won't run too long. <laughs> hey guys, it's Dovler here, back in with episode 2 of Imagine X Mondays. Today we're looking at Batman and the Bat Cycle. I figured we'd start off with him, being that the first episode was Bane, and that was the biggest set I have. Well, I have a Batmobile, but I don't know if I have a figure to it. I don't think so, but at the same time, I probably wouldn't want it or need it anyway. But here is Batman himself. It is New 52, so no under ruse, although I could probably take a Sharpie of that and make it under ruse, but not going to do that. Um, he's got the standard articulation. He's got the swivel in the head, the hinge in the shoulder, the swivel in the shoulder, the swivel at the wrist, and the legs move forward and back in unison. He has a cloth cape. And is it... Yep, it's got the little pointy bits on it, I can tell already. Then on his back, he's got the... The belt is painted all the way, which is nice. And the bat symbol. I do like the bat symbol. Very animated series-esque. And then he comes with this uh, bat cycle. It looks more like the bat pod, but it's the bat cycle. I didn't even notice that. It's got little wing bits back there. That's cool. Um, and it has this missile here. If I can remember, where's the button on you? Huh. Oh, there it is. But it shoots this... Uh, foil. It shoots this uh, little bat face here. and It gets lost in the background. There it is. And, um... Yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh... That that was adjustable, but uh, yeah, it's it's a nifty little uh, it's a nifty little bike. It rolls. It's not like the uh, Bane sled where it has the <laughs> noise, but it's still pretty cool. It's got the little wings there. So I guess for a quick comparison to Batman, quick comparison with Batman, we'll just bring back uh, Bane again. Take this thing off. Um, because Batman's going to be the size comparison, uh, the basic size comparison for all these, so uh, I had to use Bane for this one. Well, that's okay. But uh, you can actually get Bane on, or Bane. Yeah, he's Bane. Um, you can actually get Batman on this uh, little cycle thing pretty easily. I'm just going to find out where the handles are. Oops. It doesn't like to sit, uh, I will say that, but... That's besides the point. And then I do believe his feet rest all the way back here. Which is kind of awkward, but he's sitting on it. Kind of looks like he's flying. I guess if you really wanted him to be more flush to it, you could push it down all the way, and then he's actually looking. I I, I do not care for how they do the bikes. Um, I think it's a bit of a pain in the butt to get them not looking down at the ground. <laughs> I mean, if he's driving like this, he's going to cream somebody, and that's no good. But uh, he does look all right on it. I guess you could adjust it some more and probably get him to look up. But whatever. It's it's all right. It's all good. So with that being said, let's get him off here. Um, this I'm going to give... Probably going to give an 8 out of 10 too because it's it's basically it shoots a missile i think the wheels they could have put that little rev up thing in it, it would have made it a little bit more interesting um batman could have came with like a batarang or something i don't know just make it a little bit more interesting but other than that it's a nice batman it's a nice little uh bat cycle slash pod slash whatever you want to call it Oh yeah, and I do not really care for this Batman costume. Uh, he's got, uh, I don't know, he's got boots, but 
I don't know. I like my Batman to have his boots go all the way up to here and to have underoos. But other than that, that's just personal uh, design quotes. <laughs> Well, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this edition of Ma uh, Masher Mondays. Yeah, imagine next Mondays. Stay tuned. There will be more of these to come. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bad, bad, bad. That was horrible.